All right, so there we go. My terrible typing skills come to the fore again. And that last map, of course, we had an eight to win, eight to two map win by the Bad Mojo BM side in a, an exciting match. But uh, certainly they dominated that. And uh, as uh, we saw, as predicted in the pre-game, they certainly like to line their cappers up. Uh, they do the work on the base, get all the turrets down, try and get the LD scrambling, and then they start doing the work on um, uh, sending through, you know, multiple cappers and doing back uh, backup grabs as soon as the flag's returned or capped. And uh, certainly it won them the match. Now I don't believe they're going to be able to do that. Uh, on this map, certainly the flag stand is not as open as it is on uh, SH, and a closed flag stand makes it a little harder, of course. And certainly, this map, I believe, will be uh, dominated by Ho around the flag. You'll see both teams trying really to uh, to clear that flag out and uh, dislodge the um, turrets and certainly the HOF. This is, of course, a Docs map edited by Zod, and uh, he removed all the lovely palm trees that Docs had put in. So, um, we're waiting for, I believe, JF is still uploading with one of the problems again with T2TV is sometimes it takes an eternity to upload at the end of a, um, Wait a, of a cast, so we are still waiting, and I'm going to play another tune now. This is the... 30 evening. seconds. No, I'm not, because they are starting the match. So we'll give that a miss. 30 second countdown and JF is spewing because he has not been separating yet. So he'll uh, probably miss the first bit of this cast and I'm going to shut up and he's going to see the AE spam. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, match begins now. Alright, so the spam stops, and I can talk again, we'll just look through the team, I don't believe, we've got La Pronis in, and um, one of the AE team uh, players has dropped, uh, the uh, Inferno BM side look much the same as what they were, we'll take a look at the defensive pattern here, we have Hooch uh, doing the HOF duties there, he's got his shield pack on, and his launcher out, and grenade launcher, and we have a quick medium grab here, that was very quick, we could have the map in 30 seconds from... Uh, this is Fleming from the BM side, and he's looking unstoppable here. Hail Mary Mortar hits him, but doesn't take him out. Very lucky to survive that. Team Inferno scores. 30 seconds, 40 seconds to the cap back. One of the fastest on record. Uh, they obviously, I mean, we obviously weren't set there, and we have a, a heavy grab from Chicken Boo. He's in yellow health, and he uh, was going nowhere there. He tried to dis jump and kill himself. Um, he needed some speed, and he didn't have it. This is. Uh, Mojo Man getting out to a spammer who's uh, standing on the hill that is uh, Super Housebook, I believe, judging the skin. We have Donkey Kong with a quick grab, just jumping into red health. He is skiing through the midfield. Chain Gunners are catching up with him now. He's uh, lost a lot of speed and certainly he gets chained down there by Mojo Man who's going to return that flag. And that was um, uh, Quantum T with a grab and grabs the flag. You see Quantum T getting uh, lanced by rain. This is Norm catching with the heavy grab and both teams opting for heavy grab and Norm catching with Inexplicably stop there. I don't know what he's doing. He's sort of jumping around and looking at the sky. And we are good across the rain. He's picked that flag up right near their uh, base. That flag is there for anyone. And that anyone is Mojo Man who returns that flag. AE had that flag with inside and inside of their match. And Fleming, look at that for a sneaky action. He, in a medium, uh, parked his strike and got out of it. Picked the flag up, got back in of it. And he's looking unstoppable here with uh, BM. Going to take a 2 0 lead, I would think. And he gets nudged there by a strike off his route, and he's way up high in the air, but I don't know if there's any how you play him in the final score. Stop him, and certainly there are. Donkey Kong was there, but he was too late. He grabs the flag and is killed um, by uh, Fleming's diss. So sneaky, sneaky work there. They all, obviously, all their defense was out trying to recover that, or sorry, to, to save that flag, which was. Um, down below trying to um, get it home as we have a uh, house kick going for a front grab and he's just getting chewed up by the uh, players turret on top of the base which they haven't been able to take down yet. This is the BM side and certainly BM have a 2-0 to zero lead already with uh, two and a half minutes gone with two very very quick caps as another uh, heavy player Chicken Boo comes in and I don't, we've seen the one maybe one or two light grabs there from the um, AE side so far we have Fleming with another medium grab. 
the uh, awkwardly hit the uh, top of the base and he gets chained down there by AE Rain. And then the team, uh, return there from uh, one of the AE players. Now we have Long Catcher with a quick backup grab. When they have the swing these cappers through, they have four grabs already. This is uh, Long Catcher with some good speed, but no energy and no health. The chain guns are not quite getting it, but I don't believe Rock is going to be able to make that, and he gets taken out by a mortar flag on the stand and grab there by Donkey Kong to save and uh, spoil that cap and he unfortunately killed himself with the mortar. The flag is still in the field and uh, as uh, Hooch is getting hassled here, he's in uh, yellow health but Team Inferno and, scores. Uh, still holding on to that flag which he uh, managed to cap to give BM a 3 to nil lead on this uh, 8 cap map and again Fleming with a very good grab. Uh, we have uh, Super House in front to back coming out to shoot at the top and He's looking to fall down that hill, which quite, he didn't quite get. This is Super House King spinning backwards, trying to um, kill the LZ as they chase him. He's into red health, and he's keeping the whole way back with you. He's got an LZ in front of him. One more chain gun bullet, he drops the flag off to a teammate. That is Mark Thorne, he's picking the flag up. He's uh, disking at a player there. He's coming in now, yellow health. He's not got the energy to get back onto his flag, and he's taken out by a mortar from the field, and again, Mojo Man with the return. This is heartbreaking for um, AE, who are getting the flag back, and they just are not holding it. Their LD are all probably all over the place, out of position. As Mojo Man calls him to scramble, we are with Fleming here. Chicken Boo picked the flag up for AE, uh, and he uh, dropped it as both flags are currently in the field. We have uh, five minutes gone in the map, and a 3-0 to zero score line to the uh, BM bad Mojo side. Quite sure exactly where we are. Here we are on Kevin Sweat, who's uh, taken up position on the flag as uh, Super House Brick came screaming through there trying to do his front heavy cap, which I don't know has been working really well at the moment. So, this is the BM side of things. They've got IMS out everywhere. There's three that we can see in sight. Probably um, knowing Quex, who is their TM, will have a, a full complement of turrets out. You can see a couple there. Uh, we have a grab from Fleming who's uh, reverted to a, a light suit here. He is uh, getting chain gun but uh, has got some safety behind a hill. Chain guns are after him but it's going to be all too late. And Team Inferno the scores. HRF, but, uh, that was uh, some good work and again BM with the backup grab. That flag was back for about maybe two seconds before Lawn Catcher came through and he's in a heavy end skiing along nicely. This will be a five, uh, the fifth cap for the BM side who are running away with this. Um, Although Aeve had seven grabs, you know, a couple times I've got him home, but uh, not Team enough. Team Inferno scores. Five caps from seven grabs, and that tells the story of this map so far. The um, BM crew are just uh, converting their caps like you would not believe. That is a great percentage. So we have uh, six minutes gone in the map, and again, an insane amount of caps in six minutes. One a minute to the, um, the BM side of the defense is uh, trying to defend his flag there, and their uh, base is just looking down at the moment. We'll take a look down here and see what we can see quickly. There are obviously uh, BM are not attempting to attack, and that's pretty obvious by the way they're capping, not, not attempting to attack uh, the bases. Uh, we'll get back to the AE side because this is where all the action is coming. We've got a, we had a capper there that was uh, one of the BM side players getting killed. Um, now this is Donkey Kong with the flag he is spinning through, he gets uh, taken out, we had a grab by Fleming, so both flags in the field, we had another grab, this is flipped to the BM side, flipped getting taken down a little bit by a mortar, their chain guns are starting to come up behind him now, he's in red health, a couple more bullets and he's dead, but they're a fair way back, and that mortar killed him from the field, uh, he was taking down the mortar flag, still in the field, and returned there by Chicken Boo, spinning through the 70. We'll uh, follow him for a moment. He uh, takes a bad call there and uh, lose a lot of speed. Donkey Kong with a front to back grab. He just jumps smartly off the top of the um, out, out the top of the chute. Let's get back to him. He's got players in front of him though, and uh, grenade takes him down to uh, one chain gun bullet away from death. And he managed to throw that flag very nicely to his uh, teammates, and it's there for um, Muriel to pick up. But unfortunately, he had to uh, come off his brakes and end the safety of his face. He's uh, mind distancing and he's chained down there by one of the BM players. A grab and a drop. We have rain coming through from main to uh, pick up. He uh, unfortunately didn't run over the multiple uh, energy packs that were laying on the ground that he managed to get back to his base. Team and, Storm. and that is the third Scores. to AE. Let's have a look at who did the return walk. Uh, La yeah, yeah. coming through there for the yeah, AE side. Know. And that is a 5 to 1 scoreline. 8 minutes to go.
sorry, excuse me, eight minutes gone in the map, and uh, five taps to one to the BM side. Who, uh, hey, to their credit, are uh, doing some some nice work there to get that flag home and break the standoff and uh, cap the map. And we're just watching Quantum T here. He's been running around, just running around, trying to. Uh, Gonna be able to have a dual pickup in the car. You can have three in a heavy kit, and uh, getting dis and dis jumping at the same time. The opposite flag flies over his head, uh, being Fleming, and that flag is returned. Let's get to Fleming. He's coming. Team Inferno scores that flag for a six to one scoreline with nine minutes and BM doing the in a hurry. Again, dominating this map, and I, I think this was reasonably expected, but um. I kind of expected AE to put up maybe a little bit more of a fight, but certainly they've, um, they're trying hard. So we have, that was Donkey Kong who uh, went uh, from the front and then back out the front and dis jumped. Getting some good speed, he's dis jumping again, bravely, he's going to crater and certainly he does not before he throws the flag. And I don't know if he really wants to throw that, but anyway, it um, worked out as all the AE players are taken out by a single mortar from Quantum T. Three AE players and Mojo Man again coming through the return, so geez, uh, Quantum 2 has been worth it, just fast smashing three, um, three of the uh, LD and taking them all out, and definitely saving the cap for um, the uh, BM side. We are with Fleming again in his medium suit, and he is taken out by Lapornis' uh, discs, and that flag in the field range is standing guard over it. In fact, both flags are in the field. We have uh, nine and a half minutes gone in his map. And a, a six to one scoreline. We have Muriel with an awkward grab, who's just way out of the way, and Quantum T picking that unreturned flag up from the field in good health. He dis jumps, spinning around wildly. Let's go back and see what Muriel's doing. He's taking the, the long route, and Fleming in his strike just runs him down. And uh, Mojo Man's going to stand over that flag, as I'm sure he's calling out. They're calling now for their flag to be returned. And uh, this will be the seventh Team cap, Inferno uh, scores. One cap away from taking the seven man Oceanic. Uh, T2 final, classic final out here, one cap for the uh, BM side and they will take uh, this final out in what has been a good match but uh, really BM showing their class here and dominating uh, AE. So we have AE, uh, sorry, BM lawn catcher with the winning cap attempt here, he's just jumping off the hill, he's got terrific speed, energy a little bit low but he'll pick that up and this is going to be the win for the uh, BM side and no! He is taken down by Donkey Kong and returned. Donkey Kong with the mad skills there with the uh, the Shrike Ram and then jumping out and returning that flag. We have Super House Chris with the grab. He is uh, naked light here uh, and he is getting harassed on all sides by uh, some LD. Just get a free take him out. Let's get back to Quantum T. He is trying to skin in. Uh, there is a player, A Ranger, who is trying to run down Quantum T. And he comes in. Victory the and in Stone. That's it, folks. Um, Thanks. BM good takes game. that final out with an 8 to 1 scoreline in around about Bye. 12 minutes, so they did it in a hurry on both maps. And uh, props to both teams, and big congratulations to BM who uh, take out the final and get all the glory. But um, From well done to AE, played extremely well throughout this tournament. I don't think anyone really expected them to get where they did. They weren't ranked uh, anywhere um, uh, near the top, so uh, they did very well to, to get where they Good did. Game. And thanks for watching. Don't forget Bye. the Season 2 Seven Man starts on the 4th of April, which is not too far away. Get yourself along to uh, teamwarfare.com or if you like, bidder.com in the Seven Man forums for all the information on that tournament. Uh, thanks for watching in, and I'll see you next time. 30 seconds.